Hello and welcome to the Ohio Partnerships for Success grant program. Today we'll be covering Module 1, Overview of the Young Adult Community Member Survey. My name is Dr. Leslie Ware. I'm a research associate at Ohio University's Voinovich School of Leadership and Public Affairs. Module 1, this module, is the first in a series of four modules designed to help community organizations collect, analyze, and report data using the Young Adult Community Member Survey. Module 1 introduces the survey instrument and its purpose. Module 2 reviews survey administration and organization. Module 3 details the available Excel survey analysis tool and data entry using that tool. Finally, Module 4 covers data report generation and interpretation. The Young Adult Community Member Survey was designed to collect data from young adults ages 18 to 25. The measures in the survey correspond to the substances of, substances of focus in the Partnership for Success grant, underage drinking, and misuse and abuse of prescription drugs. Specific questions match the Community Outcomes Measures, also known as the COM. The items on the Young Adult Community Sur Member Survey include brief demographics, such as the county of residency, age, and gender of the respondent. Consumption measures are included for both alcohol and prescription drugs. Specifically, there are 30-day use and binge drinking questions for alcohol as well as 30-day use for prescription drugs. The remaining items are intervening variables. These include the respondent's perception of peer disapproval of both substances, perception of risk or harm for both substances, as well as the source for obtaining the substances, and a question about which type of prescription drug has been misused. Collecting data from 18 to 25 year olds is often difficult. The Young Adult Community Member Survey is designed to be a versatile instrument that collects the necessary data while being as short as possible so it can be deployed in a variety of settings. This survey can be handed out in waiting rooms, at events, while potential respondents are waiting in line, and the data can be collected by loading the instrument on a portable electronic device or with pencil and paper. Finding young adults between 18 and 25 is one of the most difficult aspects of gathering data from this population. Previous coalitions have had success through these approaches. Forming community partnerships. Coalitions work with other community organizations and agencies that have regular access to this population. Examples include WIC offices, workforce programs, Head Start registration, and recreation centers. The most common method for disseminating the survey is to have the partnering agencies ask young adults to complete the survey while they are in the waiting room. Another option is to use events and locations. Community members take surveys and set up a station at an event or at a location that's frequented by young adults in the community and provide small incentives in exchange for survey completion. There are different ways to deploy the survey and each require different preparation. With community partnerships, this will require training the partnering organization's staff around the use of the survey and confidentiality, providing the st staff with a brief script and instructions on how to request respondents' completion of the survey and collection of the survey when they are completed. Events differ and may require setting up a table in a single location, such as a building entrance, or identifying areas for coalition members to stand, such as food courts. These decisions largely depend on the size of the incentive being offered as well as the space that's available. Formal administration of the survey requires having organized a group of respondents to participate and ensure that there's adequate seating with enough space to ensure that confidentiality is maintained, specifically that they cannot see one another's responses. 
Confidentiality is a guarantee that a respondent's answers will not be tied to their identity in any way. In small communities where residents often know one another, confidentiality is especially important. Confidentiality is primarily accomplished by ensuring that the person collecting the survey cannot see any answers. For paper collection methods, have respondents put their own completed surveys in an envelope or box. For electronic collection, the final responses should close the survey to a thank you screen. Module 2 will provide additional information and details about collecting and organizing data. Reflecting on your data collection experience at each location is an important step that should not be overlooked. If you've partnered with another organization, take the time to debrief with them. Keep notes for yourself on what did and did not work so that you can continue to improve your data collection methods over time. This will allow you to develop a sustainable data collection plan. There are additional webinars that will provide more information on the Young Adult Community Member Survey. Module 2 is designed to help you understand how to administer and organize the Young Adult Community Member Survey. Module 3 will provide information about entering the survey data into the available Excel database designed to accompany the Young Adult Community Member Survey. Module 4 provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the Excel database to analyze the data and produce reports on the results. There are other helpful webinars that would provide additional information about partnering with other organizations to collect data. Specifically, there's the Memorandum of Understanding, or MOU, webinar. This webinar provides information on formalizing partnerships using MOUs to collect data. There's also a webinar on partnering with schools to collect data. This webinar provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to partner with your local schools and your community to collect survey data. Thank you for your time today.